Baron and Lucian, Aragorn and Arwen. What's the common denominator? Mixed race. For all of you people on the internet, talking about the Rings of Power series that's coming up on Amazon Prime, which is exciting. It's uh, a little bit disconcerting how many racists there seem to be in the Lord of the Rings fandom. Now, I didn't realize there were, but apparently there are people who think that black people shouldn't be allowed to be in the fucking Lord of the Rings universe. I mean, first off, let's talk about Sauron and Ungolian's ability to shapeshift at will into anybody. I understand that some of this show might be after Sauron lost his ability to shapeshift, but if you're able to shapeshift into a fucking vampire, which Sauron fucking did, or a spider, which Ungolian seemed to prefer walking around in that shape, you're probably gonna be able to shapeshift into somebody black. Inconceivable, why not? Here's another uh, criticism that I hear a lot about this mixed race thing. People are saying Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and The Silmarillion, all of this stuff is based in a history of England, an origination story of England. And therefore, because the English are white, you should only have white people in the story. Kind of like how Vikings were basically all white and it's perfectly fine to have an all white cast in a Viking movie. I can understand that if that's where Tolkien was actually coming from, but my interpretation is what he says here. It seemed to me that, that Middle Earth was, was, in a sense, as you say, this world we live in, but um, this world we live in at a different era. Well, no, at a different stage of imagination. Yeah. But this is interesting because in The Lord of the Rings, um, particularly in appendices, you go to great trouble to get your chronology exactly correct with respect to the four ages that you write about, yeah. but you make no attempt at all to tie this up with time as we know it today. Why is this? Because it would have been impossible. Because you would have completely interfered with and, uh, and trampled one in a free invention of history and uh, an incident to one's story. Nevertheless, despite what you've just said, it seems to me that one could place most of the action, if not all of the action, within a fairly definite sort of time. It won't really work out, you know, either paleontologically or archaeologically at all, actually. Now, if you're saying that a different stage of the imagination means the history of our Earth, then you're incorrect because it's a different stage of the imagination. And as Tolkien just fucking said, it would be impossible to take our world history and compare it to Tolkien's world history because Arda is a different fucking place. What you're saying when you say that a dwarf or an elf can't be black. Let's talk about the elves for a minute. The elves were the firstborn of Elro Iluvatar the firstborn children. And because they are the firstborn, that means psychologically, they are one step closer to the Maiar, who are essentially the gods beneath Eruluvatar. They are the angels or the gods. If you're saying that an elf who is one step removed from the gods has to be white, that means that the gods are white, and that means that Eru Luvatar is white. But Eru Luvatar, in my mind, doesn't have a color. Eru Luvatar is every color, because everyone born on Arda is representative of Eru Luvatar. And it is inconceivable to say that there are no black or dark or brown people in Middle Earth. There are, in fact, these people called the Hararadrim and the Easterlings, and many of them Tolkien mentions as being of dark skin because of this thing called melanin. You know, even if you don't understand it on a fucking cellular scale, you can understand that melanin exists. Let's go back to saying England. England. What about England? In the Bronze Age and before that, England was a thriving trade empire that traded with black people all the time because all of these black people living in Africa wanted tin 
and the largest tin mines in the world at that time during the Bronze Age were in the south of England in this area called Cornwall and Kent. It is natural to assume that Egyptians traded with the English and that Mesopotamians traded with the English and that Greeks traded with the English and so forth. It is also natural to assume that there were black people on these ships trading with the English before Jesus was ever born. And these people, it is natural and logical to assume, fucked the English. And it is natural and logical to assume that there may have been black people who were like, hey, I kind of like this place. You guys go on back without me. I'm going to stay here a while and enjoy this nice juicy apple or whatever fruit grew in England back in the day. Do you see what I'm saying? Your entire assumption is that there have never been black people in England's early history. But thousands of years before Jesus was born, there were black people. There are black people dug up out of the ground thousands of years old in England. So don't fret. Black people exist in England's history. They were of an equivalent societal hierarchy. God, you people are so fucking dumb. Also, let's talk about the Black Dwarf. It is logical to assume that because this is a different stage of the imagination, that Black Dwarves existed. Because why not? There is no reason at all to think that Tolkien was a racist. We have no evidence for this, especially by the evidence that Baron and Luthien are the names on Tolkien and his wife's gravestones. Underneath their names it says Baron and Luthien. You fucking idiots, that is a mixed race, that is an interracial marriage. He thought of himself as a man and he thought of her as the most beautiful elf woman ever. And if you've ever read the note that he wrote to his son, Christopher, when his mom died, it is tragic. Oh my god, it's like, it's one paragraph, and I bawled my eyes out. It is tragic. Galadriel, a lot of people online are saying, hey, Galadriel's not a warrior woman. Yes, she fucking is. If you've only read Lord of the Rings, then you think she's a fair, wise elf woman who doesn't need to use violence to get things done. But this Lord of the Rings is at the end of her life on Middle Earth. In the beginning of her life, she was fucking ambitious. She would do anything to get power. And that included putting on armor and going out to fight. She was vicious. She was power mad. She was fucking ruthless. And I have to believe that since Tolkien is Catholic and English, he based part of that younger Galadriel's personality on Joan of Arc and Boudicca, two of the most vicious and violent women in early European history. Let's toss this notion that women can't be warriors out of our minds, because as it is said, War is the province of men. You see how dumb you're being? What are the particular bones that I have to pick with the images and the trailers that I've seen? If you're gonna have a black dwarf, I don't care. But they need a beard. Because all dwarves have beards. This is a beautiful dwarf. And that's the problem. The dwarf kind of looks glowed up because the only source material that we have about dwarves is that even women dwarves have beards and they are so often mistaken for men that many people on Middle Earth mistake the dwarves as being a male only species. The actress playing Galadriel is very attractive which is great and looks about 20 which in elf years this is perfect and is ambitious, which fits the character of Galadriel, and is wearing armor, which also fits the character of Galadriel. But the actress is five foot three inches, and Galadriel is six foot four inches. So the actress is a full foot shorter. And I really don't give a shit. I didn't get mad when 
Lee Childs Jack Reacher was Tom Cruise because Tom Cruise was a great fucking actor and looked about as tall as the character in the books. I mean, unless you want to recruit from the WNBA, it's going to be hard to find an actress with an English accent who is six foot four. But they do exist, and maybe they would have wanted this part. I'm kind of glad and I'm also kind of saddened about this last fact. None of you Lord of the Rings fans who are freaking out about this race thing or this female warrior thing ever freaked out about the fact that there were black people in the show Hamilton. So I have to assume that maybe you're not as racist as you appear to be, but you're being a little racist. And I hope I explained a little bit about why. Oh, one more thing. A lot of people don't know why Peter Jackson put moths in Lord of the Rings when there were no moths mentioned in the books. It's the original lamp meme. You got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon.